Hi everybody, so in this video I want to show you how you can install the experimental version of DAISY server on your local PC. So you may well be familiar with installing a server, a DAISY server on your local PC. If you're not, I'll put a link in the description below the video to the uh, video tutorial I've done that shows you how to do that. And the idea with this is instead of having to hire a, uh, a private um, community server, you know, online with Nitrado or whoever it is to experiment, you can actually have a local version of Daisy running on your PC so that you can then use it for content creation, uh, you know, creating clips, single player, you could use it for that. Or especially with the experimental version of the server, testing compatibility of mods and getting ready for when the um, the full release comes out so you can have files good to go when it, when it all goes public. Right, so let's get started. And as with most things to do with modding and with Daisy, it starts off in Steam. So you want to fire up Steam, go to your library and make sure you've got the Daisy experimental version of the game installed on your PC. So you'll have Daisy, so you want Daisy experimental installed as well. Then what you'll also need to do, and you'll need to have the tool section ticked of your library here as well, is you want to have the Daisy experimental version of the server installed as well. Again, this is this is very important because these two things run together if you want to do them locally. Um, in effect, you've got two different instances of Daisy the game and Daisy the server installed on your local PC. So install both of them. Don't try to launch the server from here. It doesn't kind of doesn't really work that way. Okay, so once you've got that, what you need to do is then find where the Daisy server experimental is on your PC. Generally, it will be on local disk C, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, um, in the same place that Daisy is and your ordinary Daisy server is. And when you download it, it's not ready to go. You know, we've got to do a few changes. And again, as I said before, I'm kind of assuming you've already installed a local server on your PC for Daisy. So what we're going to do is you want to go to that local server, and we're just going to copy some things across. It's very easy to do. So the first thing we want to copy is your um, is your batch file. And my one here is called Start Zombie Admin because I use Zombie as my admin tool. So you, so find your batch file, and you just want to copy that. And you want to go across to the experimental version server and you'll want to you want to paste it in you see i've already done it here and then you want to open that with your um text editor um whoop, opened up the wrong one there didn't i um star zombie admin um and then we need to, need to change first off we need to change the server location um thing so you, your one will probably say program files steam steam apps common daisy server and what we need to do is we need to add Daisy server, and then we need to add space exp, so that we're telling the the uh, the batch file where the program is that we want it to start to run the server. So make sure that changes there. And then when you scroll down as well to the kind of start parameters here, there's a couple of things we're interested in. There's the profiles folder. Um, which is set to config for my one, but we're really interested in the mods. See the mods here? Now what I would recommend you do is get rid of the mods to start off with, you know, and paste them somewhere else. Um, because with the new version of DayZ, you may well find that your existing mods might not be compatible. And the first thing you always want to do is when you when you set up a local server running, whether that be experimental or otherwise, you want to make sure it can just run and you can get into it before you start messing around with, with mods. So the first time you run it, run it without any mods and go into it without any mods. Check your character spawns in OK and everything's running. And then um, put your mod in, restart the server, and then you can you can have the fun. So I'm going to put mine back in. There we go, because I know mine, mine works, and we would then save that. Um, the other thing you want is your server uh, config file. So serverdz.config. I'm not sure if this downloads when you install the server, but you can copy that paste it into the uh, Daisy server experimental, open it up, and probably everything's going to be the same. You may want to change the name. So I've changed mine to experimental, um, 
just so that I cannot, I guess how I can identify it. You don't really need to change anything else. Um, I guess if you wanted to go with Livonia or you wanted to have a play around with um, something like Essica or or, or you know, Dear Isle, you could change the mission template down, down the bottom, but I'll save that for a different video. The next thing we want to um, copy across are the keys. So these are the things that kind of match up the mods on your server with the uh, the mods that in your game to make sure they all work up. So I would probably say what you just just copy them all across. So so right click copy, go over to your server, go into the keys folder, and just just paste them all in there. You're not going to be using all of them, but paste them all in there, and they're all kind of done. And then to go with that, of course, we need to copy the mods across that we want to use. So go to your Daisy server. So I'm using Community Framework and Zombri. So right click, copy those, Daisy server, right click, uh, paste if I'd copied them and they would then appear. And then as you know, if you're using an admin tool, what you need to make sure is that the uh, mod recognizes you as an admin. And this is where the config folder comes in handy. So you may remember when we were looking at the batch file, there's this little argument here. It says profiles equals config. So this is the folder that stores things like your crash reports in, but also for mods like Zomberry or Community Online Tools or any of the admin tools, this is the folder that, that stores the details about who's an admin. And in my particular server, that folder is called config. You see what it says here? And then if we look at the server, see, I've, I've, in fact, let's look at my normal server it's called config your one may well may well be called profiles or something like that but if you go into it it's the one that's got like the battle eye folder in and there's normally lots of uh, log files in there as well and as you can see here there's the zomberry um, folder so what, what I would do is I would copy that just go up one I would then go over to here I would create a folder called config and then I would right click paste Zomberry. As you can see, the top folder is admins.cfg, which is the, the file that tells Zombery, look, Rob, he's an admin, let him spawn things in, let him fly around the map and do all that funky stuff that you want to be able to do when you're testing stuff on your, on your own Daisy experimental version of the server. So pretty much that's good to go now. But what we need to do now is we need to make um, Daisy experimental ready as well, because a lot of the time you may well have Daisy Experimental installed on your local machine, but you won't have mods installed on it. And that's where it gets a little bit different because when you fire up the um, Daisy Experimental launcher, you'll, you, your mods won't be there. Um, and you'll be like, well, wait a minute, aren't I subscribed to these in the Steam Workshop? But it, does, it works differently. So what you need to do is you need to open up um, your version of DayZ, the full version of DayZ, which will again be in probably local disk C, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common DayZ. Go into the workshop, and you want to copy over the mods that you're going to be using. Or just copy all of them over, it doesn't really matter. So in my case, it would have been Community Framework and Zombie Admin Tools. So I'll right-click, i copy them, um, and then you want to go to your experimental version of Daisy. So in my case, it's actually installed on my D drive, my games D, Steam library, so Steam apps, common Daisy experimental. Yours is probably my game C, Steam library, Steam apps, common Daisy, that that sort of thing. Yeah, right next to where Daisy is. And then we go into the workshop folder and we just paste them in there. So as you can see, I've already done it. So there's CF and there's Zombie Admin tools. So we've kind of manually added them in. Um, now, once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. So at this point, you can then... You can then flash up Daisy Experimental. So launch the Daisy Experimental launcher. And you'll probably find there's no, there's no mods there. So you need to click on Local Mod. And then you just add the mods in manually by clicking Select Folder. Okay and then the mods will then be appear. Um, what you can then do as well is if you go to your cert, uh, experimental version of the server, now's the time that you can actually double click on your batch file. So in my case, start zombie admin, that will fire up the server. My server's already running here, doing all its business. So if we go to the launcher now, and I go to servers, 
and I go to LAN, I'm already in it, you see there's the experimental version of the server. We click join and it will say, it'll say well you need these mods and you're like well, well wait a minute, <laughs> I've already got these mods and it says subscribe and if you subscribe to these it, it, nothing happens. So you want to click on the little arrow and you want to say load zombie admin tools from library like this load community framework from library like that and then you click on set up dlc's mods and join and this now <laughs> will finally get you in um uh, now remember it could be that through the life of the experimental server while uh, while it's live um the mo the uh, bohemian interactive the publishers the developers may well update it as well and so you you know you're gonna have to update things um and I, i'll kind of say it again one of the main reasons for doing this sort of thing, uh, having a, a local version of Daisy uh, experimental running on your PC, is mod compatibility testing. So if you're running a server that runs a lot of PC mods, this is the time that you can go in and you can load those mods in and you can see what problems you may well be having and then you can talk with your mod programmers about um, how you're going to address that. Um, in my particular case, the reason why I want to have a local version of Daisy Experimental is so that I can have a look at the new things and make videos about them. So for example in 113 we've got the uh, M16 um, assault rifle, the M16A2. So I can spawn it in, I can spawn that in and I can shoot some zombies with it and I can say look here's the new M16 isn't it cool or here's the new machete or here's the new 45 round mag for the uh, KA74 you know isn't, isn't that a cool thing. Um, now you may well receive a little bit of a performance hit when you're running a, a daisy a version of daisy and a version of a daisy server on your local pc however it is only you playing on it you know it is it is kind of a single player version so um I, I wouldn't worry about that wouldn't worry about that too much um and i wouldn't recommend you use this to then try to open it up and then show it to friends so here we are um this is uh you, i mean you wouldn't really know it but if i go tab you can see I've got the M16 in my hand and I can press O and then I can go free cam uh, toggle god and there we go and there we go so this is daisy experimental a daisy experimental um, server running on my local PC so that I can run around and I can test things and, and see see what's changed and generally um, have fun um, with this absolutely amazing game. Okay, so hopefully this video has been useful. I know sometimes my style is a little bit ad hoc. <laughs> well, I say it's a little bit. It's awfully ad hoc. I'm, also, I'm always ad hoc. I know when I'm doing these things, I don't do them with a the script. Um, but if you've got any questions or need anything clarifying, please put them in the uh, comment section below the description. Um, if you're interested in setting up your own Daisy server on your local PC, again, the, the, I'll put a link uh, in the description about my video about doing that. If you've enjoyed the video or found it useful, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, um, and I will see you all again soon. <laughs>